okay derivation of shear stress for a rectangular section okay so first of all consider a rectangular section consider a rectangular section its width it is b and depth it is d so this one it is a rectangular section its width it is b and depth it is d okay depth it is d and neutral axis it is acted center of this section okay so it is d by 2 from the e section okay so the distance it is d by 2 from top of fiber section divided by bottom okay d by 2 divided by this one it is d by 2 d by 2 okay d by 2 okay so now right on consider consider a rectangular section rectangular section section of width of width b of width b and depth d and depth d okay depth d now assume one small strip small strip consider consider a small strip small strip of depth of depth of depth dy of depth dy at y distance y distance y distance from neutral axis from neutral axis from neutral axis from neutral axis okay from neutral axis so it is located the y distance from the neutral axis so this one it is y distance okay. and the y distance from the neutral axis this is y distance from the neutral axis it is located y distance from the neutral axis okay now depth it is dy dy it is depth dy it is depth okay this one it is dy it is depth okay now shear stress equation shear stress equation equation Q is equal to Q is equal to it is S A Y bar divided by I B. 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 I into B. Okay. So yes, it is shear force at section. Shear force. of section section okay so a it is area of shaded section a it is area of shaded section area of shaded section and y bar it is y bar it is y bar it is area of uh, cg of cg of shaded area shaded area from from neutral axis okay cg of shaded area from neutral axis we will need to calculate first one by one here it is shear force then area of shaded area so first of all calculate the dy distance so dy is equal to it is dy is equal to it will be d by 2 d by 2 d by 2 d by 2 minus y okay. so d by it is d by 2 minus y okay d by 2 minus y 
y okay so shaded area a is equal to b into b into dy b into dy so dy we know that so b into dy it is dy it is d by 2 minus y d by 2 minus y it is d by 2 d by 2 minus y d by 2 minus y d by 2 minus y minus y d by 2 minus y so this one it is shaded area okay. so now y bar it is y bar is equal to 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 it is located at y distance from the neutral axis so first y plus y plus y plus dy by 2 half of this d so dy by 2 dy by 2 okay dy by 2 y plus dy by 2 dy by 2 so we know that dy it will be value so y plus y plus dy by 2 it is we can write down this one it is half by 1 by 2 1 by 2 1 by 2 in bracket in bracket so dy it is d by 2 in minus y d by 2 minus y so d by 2 d by 2 d by 2 d by 2 minus y minus y okay so complete this solution complete this bracket now i will write down here complete the equation y bar is equal to y bar is equal to y bar is equal to So y plus y plus one half into d by two will be d by four d by four d by four d by four then one half into y by two will be minus y by two minus y by two minus y by two minus y by two Final equation it will be get y by two is equal to y minus y by two will be y minus y by two will be y by two will be y by two y by two y by two then plus d by four plus d by four plus d by four d by four so this one it is y bar y by 2 plus d by 4 this one it is y bar so put all these values in equation in this equation so q is equal to sa y bar divided by i to take this equation so this equation q is equal to once again i will write down equation s a y bar divided by i sa y bar divided by i sa y bar divided by i I into D. I into D. Okay. Put all these values here. Shape force it is S. Yes, it is unknown. Area it is. How much area it is? B into B into in bracket. B into in bracket. B into in bracket. D by 2. B into D by 2 d by 2 d by 2 d by 2 minus y minus y minus y divided by divided by i b sorry let's say it is a y bar it will be also no? y bar it is y by 2 y by 2 y by 2 y by 2 plus d by 4 plus d by 4 plus d by 4 
d by 4 d by 4 of d by 4 this value is d by 4 divided by this by i into b so i is here moment of energy is b d cube by 4 so b into d cube by 4 b d cube divided by 4 b d cube divided by 12 that was 12 that was 12 into into b into b so now Now write down. Then write down. Then shear stress, shear stress at neutral axis, at neutral axis, at neutral axis, at neutral axis. Maximum shear stress it is at neutral axis. Maximum. Maximum shear stress at neutral axis so so y is equal to put y is equal to zero put y is equal to zero y is equal to zero in this equation okay this equation so put y is equal to zero it will be get so q max is equal to q max is equal to so s into S into B, S into B, then in bracket it is D by 2, it is D by 2, D by 2, so Y will be 0, D by 2, D by 2, then again Y by 2 it will be 0, then D by 4, then D by 4, again D by 4 into D by four. D by four. D by four. Then divided by divided by B D cube by twelve. That is B square into B square. B square into B square into D cube. D cube, D cube divided by twelve, divided by twelve. D cube square divided by twelve. Okay. Divided by 12. Okay. Now it will be get final equation Q Q max is equal to so Q max is equal to final equation just that Q max is equal to so d by 2, 1 by 2 into 1 by 4, 1 by 4, it will be get 1 by 8. So yes into, yes into b into d by 8, d by 8, d by 8, d by 8. Divided by divided by divided by so this term 12 will become upper side 12 divided by and d by 2 it will be get it will be b square into d cube this b square into d square b square into d square d square into D cube, D cube. Okay. So simplify this equation. So this one, four, four two is eight, and four three is twelve. Okay. Three by two. So right turn of final equation. Q max, Q max is equal to Q max is equal to. So S into S into B into B into D 
into three d divided by divided by divided by d cube into d cube into d square d square into d cube d square into d cube into d cube into d cube So this D it will be get this bit will be get cancel. This D it will be get this D it will be this will be D. So this one it is D D to D D square it will be. This one it is D square. Sorry. D into D it will be D square. So this D square and this D cube it will be get cancel. So it will be get final value two max is equal to two max is equal to Q max is equal to T by two T divided by so this one it will be get this value here two here two it will become bottom side here T by two T by two T by two T by two into into S divided by B into D here four S divided by B into D S divided by B into D. S divided by B into D. B into D. Q max is equal to Q max is equal to. So max is equal to so max is equal to t by two means it is one point five by so yes by b b it is q average q average so q max is q max is q max is greater than Greater than one point five times the Q average. One point five times the Q average. One point five times the Q average. Q average. So this one it is derivation for shading stretch for a rectangular structure. Okay, so Q max is, is greater than one point five times the Q average. The exception. So it will be maximum Q max. It will be at neutral axis. This will be Q max. Q max is equal to will be T by two Q over. So this one is maximum neutral axis at the Q max. Is equal to one point five of Q average. Q average. Q average. Q average. So this one it is case square diagram. Perfect. 